watched last night Hillary Clinton delivering that victory speech from Brooklyn after securing the Democratic nomination, making history. And it may be hard to see tonight, but we are all standing under a glass ceiling right now. But don't worry, we're not smashing this one. Thanks to you, we've reached a milestone. The first time, the first time in our nation's history that a woman will be a major party's nominee. So now the campaign released a new ad highlighting the historic significance of Secretary Clinton becoming the first woman at the top of a ticket of a major American political party. And because I'm here, that has an impact on people like me who will come after me. So let's learn from the wisdom of every mother and father who teaches their daughters there is no limit on how big she can dream and how much she can achieve. So it was a tapestry of voices in that piece, and one of the voices you just heard was that of Democratic Senator from Wisconsin and Clinton supporter Tammy Baldwin. Senator, great to have you with me today. I really appreciate it. And let's talk about that video and also the historic nature of what we witnessed last night with Hillary Clinton capturing the presumptive nomination of your party. What does that mean for you personally? Oh, I was thrilled. I was thrilled to just reach this historic moment. I am so proud of the American people. Um, this is really the American people making history. And uh, it, it had all sorts of reminders for me. I reflect on my own election night to the U.S. Senate where I said, um, I didn't run to make history, I, I ran to make a difference. And that's exactly what uh, Secretary Clinton is doing. She has made history, the American people have made history, but she is doing this to make a difference in all of our lives. And so it's just a great celebratory moment. And then we get back to work because we have a lot more work to do. And we just saw live images of President Obama on his way to New York to tape an appearance on Jimmy Fallon. Not a lot to talk about with Jimmy Fallon, I guess, for the president. Uh, but tomorrow, we're ramping up to this meeting with Senator Sanders coming to Washington, D.C. He's also going to be meeting with Harry Reid because he has vowed to stay in this race until the convention. I'm just curious, have you reached out to your Senate colleague at all in Senator Sanders to discuss, to discuss what the party and the general election fight means against Trump? Have you done that? I have not, I, and I have not heard reciprocally from uh, Senator Sanders in many, many months um, since he's been on the campaign trail. But, you know, I hope as these discussions um, uh, flow over the next few days that, um, you know, Senator Sanders has to decide how he's going to end it. But I certainly hope and believe that he's going to end it on a positive note and that he recognizes that. He and his supporters have built something pretty significant, pretty profound, that can be enormously helpful in making sure that we defeat Donald Trump this fall. So, Senator, how do you unite that? What has been ignited for Senator Sanders and join that with Hillary Clinton? Because it seems like there's such a great divide in the visions of these two electorates. You know, I don't see that divide perhaps the way you're describing it. I see a divide on the Republican side, which I can happily return to in a moment. But what I see on the Democratic side is a real focus on giving every American the opportunity to get ahead and focusing on um, closing the huge um, economic inequality that we experience in America and helping people who have had stagnated wages and salaries for so long really, really get ahead. And I do see that making that difference is, about, um, is what Bernie Sanders is about and it is what Hillary Clinton is about. And both are completely devoted to the idea that we can never have Donald Trump as the president of the United States. So I see a lot of reason to get on the same page, to work this through, and, um, and I expect that that's going to happen. Do you think that Senator Sanders should concede and drop out before D.C.'s primary next Tuesday? You know, Bernie Sanders, my colleague, my friend, is going to have to decide how to end his campaign um, on his own. 
Um, but I really want to see this happen on a positive note, and I want to see him focusing on unity, focusing on strengthening uh, the platform of the Democratic Party as we go into uh, the Philadelphia Convention, and then um, a lot of unity because we have a lot of work ahead of us to make sure that we elect uh, Hillary Clinton as our next president, um, a historic moment that will be, and to make sure that we defeat Trump and never allow him anywhere near the Oval Office as Commander-in-Chief or President. Senator Tammy Baldwin of Wisconsin. Thank you very much, Senator. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Thomas. All right, so just like I asked the senator, we've been asking you at home to weigh in on today's Microsoft Pulse question. Should Bernie Sanders concede the Democratic nomination to Hillary Clinton? Let's take a look at how you feel. 66% say yes, 34% say no. Check it out. The Pulse is live. Pulse.msnbc.com. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.